morning friends welcome back to your favorite channel code one digest today in this video we will learn how can we deploy mongodb into docker containers what is docker containers how can we deploy our mongodb into a docker container how can we download mongodb docker image and then deploy into docker containers so we'll see all of that in step by step it is going to be very exciting and fun so stay with me till end of the video and we will learn a lot of things today oh i'm so excited we will learn how to run our mongodb in docker container so here is the agenda of today we will download mongodb image then we'll start our mongodb in the container we'll connect to the mongodb using our mongodb compass that is a mongodb goi tool and we will try to create few databases and we'll add some data to the database okay very simple exercise just follow step by step guide you will be able to containerize your mongodb in 10 minutes friends before we proceed in this video i want you to subscribe my channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality contents for you but i am not getting subscribers kindly subscribe my channel and share all my content with with your friends and colleagues help me grow my code one digest community thank you so we can download mongodb image from our docker hub repository if you search mongodb in docker hub you will get this page where you have multiple tags available if you see the latest tag this is tag latest and there are multiple tags so if you are using docker on windows you can use this tag here operating system and architecture mentioned so this particular tag can only be used on windows okay let me take this tag 603 version it is saying it is available for windows as well as linux so what is the command we have to do that docker pull mongo colon 6.0.3 we'll copy that okay and we'll let's go to the command prompt and paste it right so what we are doing is docker pull mongo 6.0.3 so what it will do is it will download that image from docker hub repository to our local repository now let's run this command to pull mongo 6.0.3 image to our local okay let's hit this give few seconds for authentication yeah so it says it is downloaded let's see our docker images okay it says it is downloaded now what we'll do is we'll run this image into one of the container and then try to connect it using docker compass gui okay before we start our docker container with mongodb let's understand what we are trying to achieve okay i have a host machine then in that host machine i am going to run one mongodb container okay and in that container i'll be running our mongodb application image friends the things to remember is in our run command okay we will give port mapping such that the container 27017 port get mapped to the host port of 28017 we know that mongodb always run on a default port 27017 so mongodb is running on 27017 in that container but in host machine so from host machine i want to access it on 28017 okay friends so the container running mongodb on port 27017 but i will access it in a host machine through 28017 that means my mongo db compass application will connect to 28017 host port and that mapping host port mapping will take it to the container 27017 port and that's how it will connect clear with me because our compass application is running on host machine so it will be using host machine port and that host machine port is 28017 and this 28017 is mapped to 27017 in the container hence the request will finally reach to a db we'll do that in command now okay 
okay friend now let me try to run that image okay so now we have docker images yeah okay clear then docker run okay to run that image we have to use run command docker run minus d minus p to add 017 colon 27017 and mongo colon 6.0.3 right so these are command okay friend let me explain this command to you we are saying docker run minus g option is to deattach it will run that application in the background okay the terminal will not be blocked with it then minus p is for the port mapping as i said we will be mapping our host port to the container port okay from container port to the host port so our host port is 28017 that means from the host machine we will access the mongodb on 28017 but actually in the container it is running on 27017 that we saw in a diagram and this is my image tag okay mongo column 6.0.3 let's try run this yeah so it says it's running let's see if it is running okay docker ps is the command to see running container yeah it says mongo db 6.0.3 is running right and it is this is our port mapping now what we'll do is we'll try to connect our compass to this database now open a mongodb compass gui and click on this connect to create a new connection once you click click on a new connection this window will open and it will ask you for mongodb url so here we have to give mongodb then local host and the port for the host machine is 28017 you remember we have done the port mapping the host machine port is 28017 and that is mapped with our container port that is 27017 okay let's try connecting it click on this connect button so it says it's connected successfully let's see what all databases we have so these are the default database that comes with mongodb admin config and local now friends what we'll do is we'll try to create one database let's do that click on create database give a database name code one digest mongodb containerization demo and collection name give a collection name collection name if you know collection name is like a table in rdbms so you have to give some collection name so let me give let's say user and click on create database yeah so you see this database is created on your left hand side menus you can click on the database to see the details it says it is having one user collection which is storage size it doesn't have any document as such now what we'll do is we'll click on user collection and try to add a data click on this add data button say insert document okay let's say we want to insert a data for a user and it has name say pavan then give age let's say 34 30 years then role manager now click on the insert button to insert this document do you see the data is inserted now let's try inserting one more document to this database let's do that give name as john age 20 and role is employee let me insert this yeah so you see those two documents are inserted now successfully 
you can fire the query you can now use it you can connect the application and start using it okay friends let me summarize this video what we learned so we saw how to download mongodb image using docker pull command then we started mongodb in a container using port mapping then we understood the port mapping using diagrams and then we connected mongodb compass gui to the mongodb then we created a database and inserted few data into the database right friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends and colleagues friends subscribe my channel for the latest videos on technology and do not forget to click on the bell icon for the latest video notification on programming and technology related videos thank you